Kieran asked you, I think after the Rotherham game, how your heart rate was <laughs> after that. You've had a bit of time to, to get your head around it. Um, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it was, um, of course, a brilliant way to win a football match. And, you know, I think uh, a night and an end to a match in an atmosphere that we have to, we have to enjoy. And um, quite some quality shown in that second half that we have to be very, very proud of. Um, and, uh, you know, another really good night for the football club. Of course, then, if you, if you dissect the game from a more analytical point of view, there's, there's other things to take over things to learn it was you know a difficult game we knew it was going to be the challenge in front of us in that first half was exactly the challenge that we expected to be honest you know I said it before the game Bristol City are a, an excellent team in those conditions where they can defend in a, in a mid block they're very good at you know blocking off all the areas that you want to get to blocking off the connections that you want to get stopping your um you know, certainly playing through them and they're athletic and disciplined and well organised and they're they're a hard team to play against and they carry a threat on the counter and they showed that. Um they showed that tonight, they've showed that against other top teams in the division, they've shown that against, you know, a couple of Premier League teams in the FA Cup as well. So the challenge was the one that we thought it would be. Um we didn't execute, you know, very well um in that first sixty minutes, I think you could say struggled to get to the areas that we wanted to get to. Whenever we did get to those areas, our technical quality wasn't of the level that it needed to be to create more chances. Um, so it was a, it was a difficult, uh, it was a difficult game. Um, the second half was different. The game opened up. Um, there were more chances at both ends. There was more space. And of course, um, our players relished that and, and the subs had a massive part in coming on and, um, you know, Utilising that space well and scoring three goals and creating a couple of our big chances at the end and uh, yeah so I think look, there's the performance to analyse which we will do and you know try and learn and get better from it but also there's the emotion of the game and the um, the scenes in the stadium there are things that we have to really enjoy tonight. What are you thinking when the penalty was saved? Yeah, I think I wasn't thinking that much. Um, I was uh, still in belief that we would create chances. I was still in belief that you know, uh, you know, another moment would come our way, and I think that was you know a massive, massive part of tonight because that you know, we've come back from goals conceded before. The players know their response to that pretty well now. We, of course, are disappointed when we concede, but as soon as the ball's in play, we're trying to score the next goal. Um, but to come back from that tonight, I thought was massive because. You know, to miss a penalty that late in the game when we worked so hard to come back, to miss what would have felt like a winning penalty. Um, I think 99.9% of, you know, all football teams of all stadiums would, you know, probably empty out of hope at that point and feel like the the game is done. But I didn't feel that from the players. I certainly didn't feel that from the supporters. The, there was still a great energy in the stadium and you could sense there was a great belief that, you know, we would we would push... You know, again, and create another chance, and, and we managed to do that very shortly after. And uh, yeah, of all the the ebbing and flowing in that last thirty minutes, I think the the response to missing the or the penalty being saved that was, you know, I think the one to be most proud of tonight. A team you're very well associated with, Manchester United, made a great habit of uh, late goals. Um, once upon a time, the, the more it happens, it becomes a bit of a self fulfilling prophecy, doesn't it? I think is it sort of your players can kind of call upon those experiences when they go into these latter stages now. I mean, yeah. it's, it's such a big thing, isn't it, for successful sides that make a habit of scoring goals so late on? Yeah, that definitely helps when you've been through experiences, all experiences, but certainly positive experiences like that. It increases the belief that it'll come again. And, um, yeah, it's, look, it's, it's, it's not by accident. Um, it's fitness, it's tactics, it's squad building it's um it's of course character is a big big part of it and you know it took us a bit of time for everyone to build that i think if you remember probably our first 12 months it was actually an issue we we, we didn't score any late goals we we drew lots of games where we weren't able to break down deep defenses late on second half of last season we didn't need to because usually we had a margin in the game and the games were won earlier on but um 
you know, we've we've worked to build that them sort of qualities in the group and, and this season for sure we've needed it. It's always gonna be the case. I've said it lots of times, you know, every game is so tough. The games are you know, if we compete really, really well, then the game will be competitive and tight and um, you know, then you've got to find ways to fight for the margins to come your way and of course, you know, late winners or not giving away late goals, all those things become massive in terms of, you know, the points total that you accrue at the end of the season, and, and thankfully we're we're doing a good job in them phases. But um, you know we'll we'll keep learning and try and get better at that as well. Yeah, no, um, credit to him. I think I'm pleased with the goal tonight, probably more than the assist to be honest, because I think it's his his first of the season. He, he could have had two goals really. The first goal, you know, Ali does the right thing certainly to to tap it in, but from where I was, it felt like it was possibly going to go in anyway. So I think then you can say it's a really composed finish and. You know, goal scoring's you know something that he wants to get better at, and he's he's been working on because he does get in them areas so often, and he does get so high up the pitch, and he's he's a good technician. So if he can find that little bit more composure, then he can add goals to his games as well. So that was the the more pleasing thing for me tonight. Of course, to get another assist from the set play. Yeah, we know his set play delivery can be really good. It's a fantastic header, Connor, and it was a a big goal for us. So um, no good night for him. For him.